Elon Clara, Cape Clear, is dying. Person by person, year by year, slowly but very definitely dying. One hundred and ninety-seven people cling to a life poor in comfort, rich in traditions, on this great hunk of rock which rises out of the Atlantic nine miles from Baltimore on the coast of Cork. Last week, a woman died, and the island grieved. Another loss in a community battling for survival, and the Cape can't afford any further drain on its people. Sadly, it can't stem it either. In the last 10 years, one-fifth of its people have left for the mainland, for Britain and America. Emigration is a raw wound on the island's gentle soul. The peace on Ilan Clara is a deceptive peace. On an island determined to shape its own future, resentment is very close to the surface. The people of the island want to control their own destiny. They want to have a say in their own future. They want to develop their own places. In fact, too long we have been the bog side, say, of Ireland. We have been the Negroes of Ireland. We have been the neglected people of Ireland. We have been the people who have got the short end of the stick. We are the people who have been uh, deprived of everything, while the rest of the population have got what they needed. They've got electricity, they've got running water, they've got industry. We've been offered a doll when they've been offered, offered work. We've got a rise in the door when they have got extra jobs. And as I say, thanks be to God, the people of the world that are waking up. We have seen an example of it in Year Connacht, in Connemara, where they've got up and taken to themselves the right to, to develop the place. When Antaharo Muraku, the island's curate, talks about controlling their own destiny, he means keeping the island Irish in language and character, guarding the heritage and traditions of the people. The Cape is unique, the only island off the south coast which retains Irish as the language of its people. This also is its dilemma. Survival and the Irish language now go hand in hand, but are they compatible? Will the preservation of the language and culture ultimately be at the expense of the island's future? So far, outside interest in development, particularly in tourism, has been prevented and no land speculation by outsiders is permitted. But if Clara is pretty and pastoral, many of its houses are empty. The population decline has accelerated through the years, from more than 600 at the turn of the century to less than 200 today. There are those who claim it will die in their lifetime, that it will be uninhabited like the Blaskets in 20 years. The National School emphasises the island's decline. Today, it has a roll of 31. 40 years ago, there were 150 at separate schools for boys and girls here. Porigo Cadogan, now 11 and in fourth class, must go to the mainland if he's to continue his education. Ironically for Clara, education means, almost inevitably, emigration. Those who take secondary schooling rarely make their lives on the island later. One man who did return, Mr. Kieran O'Regoyne, once a pupil here, now he's the island's teacher. You've been away from here for 35 years. Have you seen many changes since you returned? The biggest change I noticed is the big drop in population over the years. Um, in years gone by, the harbour beyond now, there were many, a large number of fishing boats. Only one large boat today and a few small ones. Can we all the poshti, a hen or skull, a mow on the lawn show? A hagan she had son or ash or ish? Co father, I guess the toss the gums and knee hagan she had the rash one, could four in the lawn. Gain she had puss on the mohans from more year, I guess. Fanning she had glare most of them, sir. The Avrishin, the 
Aspa Lani well Dino August on the land. Dean Mora on the gown. Shandy in a small town. I guess Parsi Ogre Fall. Nadine Kragas Idir shocked me in the day of Gagastrickably and Ta Fever Gone Gasson. Gamur more Kalidi. Tabigan Boglia, not Neil Moran Kalini, than the Shin and the Moran. Two out of every three people who live on Ilan Clara are over 60 years of age. Who will replace them? In the present conditions, no one is likely to. It's a lonely, tough life. Always lonely in the winter. You, you get used to that. Did you ever think of leaving the place at any stage? And no, because uh, I was the only person in the house and I just look after the old people. People respect their, their parents here very much, they stand by them. Do a lot of people stay here on Ilan Clear to look after their old people? They do. Parents? And they come home if the old people get knocked up if they're away, they come home to look after them. Would it have died before now, except for that tradition? Pardon? Would it have died before oh, now? Oh, it would. It would. For choice, would you have come back here? Pardon? If you had your way, if you hadn't any old people to look after, would you have come back here? I would not. How would you have done? I just stopped here somewhere as I'd be out in the, out in the world and here you'd see and hear more than you. Would you expect the young boys and young girls to stay I here? I wouldn't expect them to stay here under the conditions. The conditions of living here are very poor now. You can't live out of grassy two or three cows. But if you want to work hard enough, can you make a living here? You couldn't. How are you going to make it? There's no other, there's no other. There's no other alternative, there's nothing else for a man here today. He'd have to go on the door if he's trying to make a living out of a farm here. The weekly cattle shipments to Skibbereen. The effort is worth it. Cattle selling is an important source of revenue. Once the farmers here were victims of dealers, but now they send their cattle to the mart for the best prices. The cattle are big and fat on the Cape, but the trouble is, the farms are too small to support a man and his family. <laughs> Time was the farmer was a fisherman too, but these days have almost gone. Once a hundred boats use this fine harbour. Today, less than ten do. And they spend most of the year fishing out of the mainland herring ports. So, a Cape tradition is dying. An island people turning away from the sea and the life which gave them enough independence to ignore the spread of the English language. Unlike so many on the mainland, they didn't need it to make a living. Lawn Clara, without the independence of centuries, a blow to the heart of the island. There is something immensely sad about the Cape, a proud and patient people, almost fatalistically accepting the death of their culture and their home, a place of old men, myths, and memories. This is the island's medical service. Engines don't last long here because of so much first gear driving on the hills. But a car is essential for the district nurse, Bunny Inn. She's from Lep in West Cork and she came here in 1964 for six months. She stayed since because she feels an island without a doctor should at least have a nurse and it's not easy to get a replacement. Though she looks after 70 patients a week, the authorities have consistently refused to build a proper dispensary. This mother got here, Osef. Can you stay now? Oh, I need no name to shin that. Oh, I think it was all. Oh, I couldn't start hard. Was it? We would need another hospital either in Skibreen or Skull to cope with the um, ordinary illnesses which would have to be treated in hospital if there were uh, somebody skilled on the island. 
I mean, you get in all medical cases. You can't leave a, a pneumonia, a case of acute pneumonia in a child or an old person or in anybody for that matter. You can't leave them isolated nine miles out in the Atlantic. Clara will never survive unless something is done now. And the island leaders are cynical. So little has been done. No services, no running water, above all, no electricity. So many promises have been empty. So little comparatively would save it. All they want is the infrastructure to provide 20 permanent jobs. At the moment, all the goodwill in the world won't overcome the lack of fundamental amenities. Mara Chapel is your fair. On Rhine, Intnadeshev. Balavurna, Imoskri. Balaneshkalag, in E. Rahok. Na hard o huig i gorka gina. Na hen kionaka i goiga moon agus an skeel kenaka. Galon ti i niga kela agus fara no machin imerka agus bas na gailinga. Aspa skoliatha boid oshin a ti. Ganave trot or tunskal agus an lahul a kahamur i drone a gailtukta. In anion a dog mar von tober na tangin. The people of Clara are caught in a vicious circle. They could have a minor boat building industry, could make and market crab and lobster pots, could have a sound or souvenir industry, could have a future. If the island got the generating station promised by Ryan the Gaeltachta almost four years ago, they have even formed a cooperative to run it and shape the island's future. So far, they have had only promises and the miracle is that on an island where 12 pounds a week is a princely sum, earned only by the few, so much has been achieved. But to solve unemployment and halt emigration, they need permanency of employment. Neither farming, nor fishing, nor tourism alone can support a family. Survival needs more in the long term, a commission on the islands and special teams to develop them. Clara would like special concessions for industrialists over and above anything on the mainland. No taxes on necessities, so to reduce the cost of living, and income tax exemptions for the likes of teachers and doctors to lure them here and to the other islands. But the people of Clara, led by Antaharo Moraku, make one thing clear. The island is for the people of the island. There can be no exploitation. They are determined to mould their own future culturally as well as economically. The link with Irish is economic rather than a motive. There are better grants and other benefits under the Rhine the Gaeltachta umbrella. Irish has given the people of Lawn Clara their sense of identity, something that has boosted their tourism by 100% in the past few years. But if Clara progresses into the future, can this way of life survive? Industrialization, if it comes, will mean more and more contact with the outside world. Greater numbers of visitors will heighten the influences which have caused the decline of Irish elsewhere. Will the conflict between progress and tradition inevitably change this island too? Kosula laughed here, no laugh, yes, and Lane on railing. But it has a fit of water, a sail on four will a sail, Nanini. I guess Maradirim eh, or have Dolconkin Lande, Cohinchus breed, Manaman, Mass or a fein. I guess Monimi and Mass Egdini or a fein, I guess Eran Nokus will Nivig Bishir Brishte, Brute, Nivigain. Phone or a trader corsuas, I guess, better on on Artilano. I guess Erin Gummerson is untuk on Mishnaka Hogan on Brocha as an Irish, as an Mishnaka V Untafado, Korhut or Conida Spraga, Conturfi, Nedakrati, I guess the five in a taco and so, Con Grimalter, I guess Con Turfi, I guess the Retuk, Akmaradan Tag, Anna Gala Koragus, a le Brish Korak on. Realtors, I guess, or Gak any dinner some tier. Tashe Anna Hart of Maradim, a gummy plan, lacomar, plan cat, a day of 
on il ngler ila agus e clear as an idif agus hashi har of a talk to give it no great tea now we bail craft the shul egg about a start elena gaelige mar kuni fi ene dinchen te is is um tosta glor dev no gaelige dev grad in tangnas machine de ak oi wash quid vade antaro moraku and the other leaders in krista glor no gael recognize the dangers they know their ultimate choice may be survival or tradition but just now they feel they still have that choice and they are determined cape and its heritage must be preserved at any cost <laughs> 